three greatest good rappers of all time? <laughs> Shit. Uh, Snoop. Snoop, of course. Trey D, Dub C. Okay. Over Nipsey? At my list. I mean, yeah. Nipsey is my homeboy, so it's kind of like, I don't think I heard Nipsey music like everybody else. Okay. Like, it's different if you grew up listening to Nipsey music, and then Nipsey is your friend, and he got a new mixtape. You got to go to home, he got a tape. Yeah. You know what I mean? I grew up kind of looking at Trey D, Snoop, and Dub C completely different. Nip was like my homeboy, so it's like, that's going to be the next generation of somebody that's 26 that's going to tell you how great of a rapper Nip is. Thanks. I could tell you how great of a nigga he was. For sure, man. What I don't, I don't think like? Corrupt, Corrupt probably should be on that list too. Corrupt might cuss me out. <laughs> Corrupt is probably something right there. But I think it, if you ask Corrupt who is his top three favorite rappers, it's probably not going to be Snoop. You know what I mean, he, they grew up, Snoop probably would have a hard time putting himself in his greatest crib rapper. That makes sense. It's like when people, your contemporary, you look at them yeah, different. Yeah. For sure. Was it like being cool with Nipsey? Shit, that nigga was funny, man. He For was real? a cool nigga. Yeah, man. He funny as hell. Really cool. Uh, smart, always got an idea. You know, hella com like hella confrontational. Like he will confront some shit. He be down with all the conf <laughs> all the confrontations, man. Um, but just really a good dude, man. Really, I know it sounds crazy because people say that, but just really a fun, good dude. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Always used to make me laugh. Yeah, yeah. You got any unreleased music with Nipsey? Yeah. Shit, what's it like when you listen to that? I don't listen to it no more. For real? You got a lot of shit, though. Nah, I only got two songs, but I, I don't really... It don't feel the same. It's hard to listen. There's a lot of people talk about like putting out their songs, but I wouldn't put out my songs with him. It just... It ain't fun no more now. When it was here, it's cool. We could do it. It's fun. But now it's like... It just ain't... You know what I mean? It don't have the same feeling. Shit special. Yeah. Now I don't, I don't even want to listen to it no more, you know? It's like, damn. Hearing him is hard right now. Yeah, facts. Uh -huh. I could only imagine, man. Yeah, man, he's that type of dude, man. My dad was crazy as he came to visit me at my pop's house. My pop's stand in the 40s. Most people, you know, they real close. And I remember he jumped out, my dad saw him and didn't trip. And then when he died, he was like, is that the dude you had at my house? And he was sad. He's like, oh, man, that was sad. It's like when Nip died, it was like, you know, a lot of people just, um, they hit everybody completely different. Like, I don't think. I, even when he was breathing, I don't think he got nowhere near as much love as he did when he passed away. Yeah, like it just a, like my dad, my father was like, "Man, touch your boy." Yeah, it's like yeah, he's like man, that's sad. Definitely, so it's all bad. Thanks. I think the dopest thing about him is how much like how much positivity he spread and how many people he touched. You know what I'm saying? Like for real, for real. Man, I, you know it's funny like. Um, most niggas is like that, man. That, like, I know they say that about gangbangers, but most gangbangers are really positive dudes. You know what I mean? They, I know they have just negative connotations when niggas be like murder, death, kill, but that ain't really what it's about. Even the roughest niggas ain't like that. You know what I mean? They are really usually dudes trying to take care of their family and get their shit together. Yeah. But obviously, you know, everybody only seen Rocket and Colors or High Tops, so they like, <laughs> them niggas is crazy. Cool. Dale Dog, rest in peace from Main Street, was one of the Greatest and coolest motherfuckers you will meet. Dale Dog. Yeah, from okay. Main Street. Honcho from Grave Street. All these legendary names. Turtle. Ask them older niggas about Turtle from Santana, man. Everybody gonna talk about how great of a guy he was. Yeah. Most gangbangers, the ones that are like celebrated and popular, you know what I mean, that are celebrated are really great guys. As crazy as it sounds. Just have a rigid, more, more like code. Yeah, yeah. And it's all morality. You know what I'm saying? It's all like you got to be accountable for your own shit. If you owe somebody some fucking money, pay them their money. If you go to jail for your crime, don't tell on nobody else's crime to be, you know, unaccountable for your crime. And they stand on that. But if you a solid motherfucker, man, you would love these motherfuckers. Papa, Dad from Bonnie, on it, like all great guys. You would love them all. They was just like outstanding dudes. I love talking to Hans. When Hans... Came by my studio when he, you know, he came home and talking to him, just, you know, talking to Dale Dog. All them niggas is gangster from Santana, just great guys. You'll like them. They just awesome dudes from yeah. around the way. That's what's up. Man, it stuck in my head, man. You said Nipsey was uh, super confrontational. I don't really hear a lot of people say that. Yeah, that nigga be <laughs> awesome shit. Like, if you said some little, so it's not confrontational, like, he gonna trip on everybody, but like, but he's always he remembered everything. Okay. And okay. if you said something, 
he for sure was gonna ask you about it. For sure. For you know sure. what I mean? I know that part ain't really spoke about it. I don't think he was in fights every other day, but like, yeah, like you know, he was like he was on motherfucking uh, what was the fucking magazine or the the outlet? Uh, uh um, start with a C, cause uh, what you talking about? He was on that outlet ass. Oh, <laughs> he was on that ass. He like fuck them, cause uh, what's them niggas' name? They was big for a while. The too. magazine. Uh he was, yeah, uh, uh, start with a C in New York. They got uh, Complex. Okay, okay. He was on Complex ass. Oh, okay, yeah, I do remember that. When CBC, they had academics and shit. Yeah, 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 see, no, but even not just that, he was just on them. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? About, was, about how shit was represented. Yeah, if you yeah. see him and shit when he was on the TMZ people, because right. <laughs> the security guard, because it's just crazy. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I don't think that's the part people want to talk about. Nah, that's, ain't nothing wrong with that, yeah. though. But I, exactly, that's how I feel, because like, he was a man, like, if you. If you if you handled his legacy fucked up, you know what I'm saying, he was gonna address you about it. Yeah. If you played with him. So I like that. That was my favorite thing about Cud. Real shit. They're gonna turn it up on your funky ass. Real shit. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh.